Welcome beautiful fucking people and beautiful fucking cookies. Minty Oreo is here, also known as Lacey Stacy. So this is just an update video to kind of say what's been going on the past while on the side note of my mental health kind of update since I had been going along with you guys and letting you guys know what's been going on with me. To help people out there who may be struggling with something similar in conglomeration with kind of expressing myself and my feelings and thoughts somewhere. To be completely honest, I am not in the mood to fucking film this right now. And you know what, I fucking got up and I'm just like, I'm just gonna film this. Even though I'm not really in the mindset being like super super fucking happy to film this shit. So you know what, I'm just gonna like be like this in this video and then not really care even though I know it'll affect some of my audience here because I know some of you guys are like oh you've got like some kind of attitude just based off of how my humor goes out throughout a video but really how my videos turn out depend on how I'm doing at the time <laughs> and a lot of you guys seem to notice too that in a lot of my videos you can't really like it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with me at all whatsoever and I mean that's like that that's a good thing because I'm just kind of like going about things and like seeing how they fly and I mean if they work they work and I mean like lately I had just been feeling like stuff in my life or not stuff is not working for me so I'm kind of like scattered around trying to figure things out not exactly like around my channel but like around my person because like after going to Orlando I kind of after getting to know my boyfriend a lot more I got to this point where I was kind of like well now I have to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do the next few years and envision that so I can place myself there and set my goals accordingly now I realize at a young age, relationships and planning around them and be, having that as your only goal isn't exactly a healthy thing because you don't always know what's going to happen. But I mean, like, you want to envision, like, the awesome thought of, like, forever, but you don't really know what's going to happen. So I've had to kind of, like, think about things really carefully and myself. And then, like, education and stuff came in. I mentioned how I didn't want to give up on education and I mean like a lot of I understand that there's a lot of people who know, f figure that like well there's facts you can do a lot of things in life without education but education is quite helpful and it does open a lot of doors and windows and restrict a lot less things my mind is like scattered amongst ideas and things that I want to do with myself and I've been kind of researching and figuring stuff out and myself out because that's important in life and figuring out your direction and adulting and those things and yeah I'm gonna be going hopefully to school and I know for a fact that I want to go to some sort of college probably transfer into California and go for psychiatry, get a bachelor's in psychiatry, and then go for like business or something like that. And I want to take a few other things, but I want to continue with my education in combination with YouTube because as much as like I like to be free and not have like some sort of set schedule of things to do because it also helps like, me coping. But this, I also feel like it doesn't help me cope because like I, I'm, I don't have something physically forcing me and shoving me towards a certain direction and I feel like I might need something to give me a push onto that path again to kind of aid like my mental state. I don't know. I'm really indecisive. And that's another one of my problems too, is I'm a really indecisive person. It's more so like 
honestly, like, I want to just blame it all my mental health. My mental health, like, my brain makes me in this state where it's just, like, I'm not exactly fully in myself. And it makes it hard and makes me more indecisive than what I normally would be. When I'm fully in myself and in my mind, I can make sure decisions and do stuff and act on stuff. But it's when I'm in like a certain state and it's hard to get used to. You don't know where you want to go, but you know you want to go so much farther than you are right now. I am a person who does really enjoy entertainment and artist realm of life and work and stuff like that. Like all of that has always interested in me. Interested in it. Did it, did it. me. <laughs> However, I've always had an interest in learning academic things as well and getting degrees in the academic realm of life. I've been working on trying to figure out what courses I need to take that so I can get into a school transfer to California and then continue my education there while living there. I decided against going into trades um, like hairdressing kind of like esthetician kind of things like those things never really appealed to me I mean hair appealed to me but like I can't I can't see myself doing hair like past my 30s <laughs> like to be honest and I mean like I've done jobs and things that have earned me about the same amount in life and just kind of looking at the scale of jobs of things that I enjoy I really enjoy a job it gives me the freedom to travel and have my expensive electronic toys as well too. And right now I don't really have like a balance of much finances in my life or else like I would have a lot more like upgrades and I'd be doing a lot more things and probably leaving my house a lot more. So considering I'm probably never going to get a part-time job locally because in my area there's no job market for like people who are working part-time jobs or like even full-time jobs but like minimum wage kind of jobs that require no experience there there is not much of anything for that in my area and I'm like I had opportunities in the past and then I turned them down because I was going to move and go back to school. And that was always an idea I went in and out of. And it's like, I am not someone who is ever going to appreciate working a job like that. If I needed a job like that though, I would go and get it. So like, living out in California, if I needed money, I would do something like that. Because I'm not someone who's going to like sit around and like just be pissed and like angsty in my position of life and not help myself because I've never been that kind of person. I've always been the kind of person to go out and help myself. However, like I've been kind of sitting in this state with myself because I'm just really indecisive as to what I want to do and what steps I want to take to go in a certain direction. Now I know there's a lot of things I want to do with my YouTube channel and there's things in realms of work that I've shared with you guys too. Like I want to create like a merch line but more so like a fashion line for you guys because it's something I've always really loved but that's not something I feel like I need school for personally <laughs> um I can take school for that later on but like it's it's something that I've done throughout my life and like I hadn't I hadn't sold things that I've created online in a really long time but that's something that I can also continue to do through like my shop like on the side of that like I want to like I like learning things a lot and like I like the dynamic of having people in my life who have lots of goals and are going places because like it makes me feel really good and happy for them kind of thing like I've been around like negative people for so long who like don't really have like 
goals and don't really try hard for themselves and like don't really fully believe in themselves and doing things and, like I've always been the person like motivating people and like trying to make them smile all the time and like make them like move really and then now I got myself to this point where it's just like now I'm not doing it so like the people who surround you definitely are contagious I can say that I might, have, I might have said that previously, but it's worth saying again. Who you choose to place yourself with do have an effect on you. And like now that I'm like, I've been separating myself from people and just had a lot of time to myself, I've kind of just came to this point where I'm just like, okay, I'm not happy with myself. I'm not happy with what I'm doing. So I have to change stuff so that I can get to that point again because I don't want to be that really unpleasant person because I, I see all these people doing these things that I really want for myself like I've always wanted for myself and like I'm gonna get the fuck up and I'm gonna fucking go and get it like I'm not gonna fucking sit and complain because like that's not the kind of person that I would want to even be around <laughs> Any of you guys out there who are kind of in the same place, I guess it's a state of young adulthood where it's just like you're kind of trying to like figure things out or even like if you're middle aged and like you have to like start your life for yourself and whatnot and just kind of figure out where the fuck you want to go. Like it's a hard decision. So I've had to spend a lot of hours just like researching different schools and like different things and waiting for contacts and then I also spent like a good couple weeks researching a new computer because I haven't looked at computers in a really long time and seeing as being someone who doesn't have their own place yet I have to get a laptop so that it's portable and then I can take it places in case I'm I decide to temporarily move somewhere or something like that. So, like, I'd have to drop a lot of money on that. Being I have to drop a lot of money on that, it has to be fucking worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna drop money on something and then fucking hate it, and then it's just gonna be like a giant paperweight. And I already have a lot of those sitting around here that I should just like get rid of, but they're just sitting there. Like, I have a lot of things just, like, sitting around that I have to get to doing and I just haven't gone around to do it. I have, like, a collaboration with someone that I'm going to be filming after this that I haven't fucking gotten to because, like, I've just been everywhere mentally and, like, I've had a lot of stuff going on, like, behind the scenes, behind the camera, like, I mean, a lot of people on these platforms socially public that are public figures have a lot going on other than what you see and that's where it's kind of like I wonder where they even find the time to like do what they do and everything like that like that sounds a lot but one day I want to fucking get there <laughs> so on that conquest of getting there like I have to I have to break things down and do things one at a time slowly I've been just it just takes a while and then I'm gonna end up taking a lot of breaks like this, and which I have. I have taken a lot of breaks like this, and I've left my YouTube channel for durations at a time. But like, I've had a lot go on that I haven't actually mentioned. I have a lot of stories to tell that I haven't told. But also what has held me back is my mental state at the same time too, because after going through things and feeling the motions and not being on for a while, I get in these periods with myself where like I don't feel confident enough to talk about something like that. I don't feel like I word things well enough for people to understand clearly and not get an idea of me that is completely relevant for the direction I'm actually going. But I mean like at the end of the day I have to just kind of accept that that's gonna happen anyway, there's people who aren't gonna accept things, so I'm just gonna start putting stuff out and pouring stuff out as it comes. At least I know I'm probably gonna feel a lot better. <laughs>
But being a young adult and surviving being a young adult is interesting. Some people get such a smooth ride while others don't. I mean, I could have a smooth ride if I had like a sure mentality of what I was going to head towards, but I know I want to work towards like leaving where I live and going to some place where I can go out and they have events and community things that I can get involved in. Because living in the buff up no middle of nowhere does not satisfy me in that way. Like, it satisfies me for like vacationing, but I'm at that point in my life where it's just like, I need, I need the city. I'm, I'm a city person and I'm like, I like the nature and things and stuff and it's pretty, but it's like, not so great when like, everybody around you kind of just like closes in and like doesn't really invite you out or anything like that or talk to you. So, I'm just at that point where I know I need to create a life for myself. And all of those things of saying like I'm moving places and stuff like that, I know for sure I'm going to be moving, but I don't know when. And that is the end of that thought until I actually have a video titled, oh my god, I'm moving, and then I actually say I have like a place picked out and stuff like that. But like, at this point, I'm still working on things. I have a lot of videos <laughs> to post and edit. I'm gonna have a lot more done once I get my new computer because I don't have to sit in the basement. I can sit in my bloody bed and get shit done that way. I'm finding it really hard to make a video. My head is just like not with it. It really is not. And then it gets so annoying. This is one of the problems I keep having when it comes to filming a video. I lose my train of thought and then my brain just like flies into another direction. I have a psychiatrist appointment in January and I see my case manager in December. I don't have the option for a regular therapist that I'm aware of unless I pay for one, which I can't afford right now. My mom could, but I really don't want to do that to her. Um, with the thought of me bi being bipolar too, like the thoughts flying around would make a lot of sense. because you basically get like ADD too because of the way your brain works. ADD is one of the side effects of bipolar too. So is anxiety with the state changes. These are just things that I read, but. God, I thought be, me becoming a psychiatrist and going to school for that would be interesting. <laughs> but I thought it'd be I thought it'd be fun. It's something I've always really enjoyed personally. I mean like I'm not really into the whole like scrub uniform thing depending on where I end up working. But I know I can be a doctor. I like being around chemistry and science things. But there's a lot of like health related jobs that I would want to stay away from. So, I'm really hesitant about having a major in like dermatology. I mean, I do really like dermatology. It's a really hefty course load, but like, it's really competitive, but all the sub kind of jobs that you can get from the courses through becoming a dermatologist like I would never be a nurse like I can't do stuff like that That's but I am still going to be doing art stuff because I do still really love art stuff but I want to balance of academics in my life because I feel like it's something that it's very valuable to get my head off things and inspire me because knowledge inspires me A lot.
struggling, overcoming, conquering, all that. Just making this video and thinking about the, the direction of things is like stressing me out and it just kind of reveals how indecisive and unsure of what is going to come out of my path right now as a person. But I have to keep realizing like that's not a bad thing at all. Like I'm not I'm not someone who typically has a fear when going about picking something and going that way. I just I'm kind of waiting patiently on certain things and I mean I don't have to, I could just make a move but it's not going to be the same value concept in the end. I think the most annoying part about being an adult is waiting on hearing about things Things that make you like stressed out and want to rethink aspects of your life really far in detail and plan ahead just in case something is wrong. I think that's that's something that really I wanna say triggers me, <laughs> but I almost wanna say like it probably triggers a lot of other people too. And I'm sure a lot of people's brains don't work the same way. But my brain, like, when when events happen in my life, I start building ideas and stuff around it. I just like to be prepared for things. But I also like just stepping into things, too. But some things are easier to step into than others. Some things are best done in a span of time and patience so that they can be executed comfortably. I guess that's a good way of putting that. I have to stop picking these scabs on the side of my head beside my ears. They're like the last bit of my rash that I have left from when I last went on my medication journey and I had the eczema rashes on my neck from from what I was aware was my allergic reaction. I guess it would have been a lot easier if I would have told you guys things after they happened or as soon as they happened so that it, it stays on a line of thinking. And I have done that before and my videos turn out a lot better and make a lot more sense. Like this video is gonna be so far everywhere I'm going to wash this and it's going to even take me a while to edit and this is supposed to be a fast vlog. Like what the fuck Lacey, why do you do this to yourself? But at the same time too, you guys get an idea of how unperfect someone can be who is on in front of your face on a camera. These are the behind the scenes struggles with Lacey. Also known as minty, minty Oreos. I have a lot of stress mechanisms that have been flying off lately. Just because of the state of mind I keep putting myself in. And I don't really know if I'm putting myself in it or not. I don't let fear stop me from doing things. But my indecisiveness does. Because I want to be completely satisfied with something in order to, or want it badly enough in order to jump on it. But at the same time too, when I want something badly enough, I really want to think it through before actually doing it. Which is why I haven't really done certain things. Because I'm too busy thinking them through. I'm like spending my whole fucking life, I feel like, thinking stuff there. <laughs> and I guess like, after talking to some people, some people like, aren't sure too, and they just do something. But I don't want to be one of those unsure people for the rest of my life. 
But I have to just accept it at the same time too. Like I want to be sure of what I'm doing. I mean, I am sure of what I'm doing. And then I'm not at the same time too. Can you see how indecisive my brain is? <laughs> I'm just going to end this at, I'm young, okay? <laughs> I'm young on a platform filled with people who are younger than me who act like they're older. I sometimes think so much about things and goals and stuff that I, can't, I forget to have fun in the moment and then it depresses me. And then, like, I, I should be doing things, not thinking. I know I definitely should start, like, writing down my thoughts and then doing it that way. So that I can get stuff off my head. I have to get a new, new journal for that though. I don't have one currently. I mean I have one, but it's just like mixed in with really corny high school poetry. When I was a hell of more emo than I am now. You guys would like me to read parts of my emo diary really, I could say. I could read parts of my emo diary. From high school I haven't I have like this I have this really hateful kind of diary also that I started in elementary school that I it's really hella evil <laughs> I I know that because I remember putting it in the box when I was boxing up my box of memories so I've always had like inner rage that I just never fully displayed in reality. Yeah, I gotta unleash some of that again. And I gotta find places to put that. So it doesn't like get stuck up here and like deter me from like moving sometimes and just overthinking and like planning in my head. I don't know, comment down below if any of you guys can relate with any of this because that'd be super cool. I like, I like hearing what you guys have to say. I read all of the comments. I may not reply to them all because when I do that I like put, really put myself into the conversation. Like I, I sometimes have like long ass conversations with people on things and it's just kind of like I should be doing something productive. Like as an adult I feel like I should always be doing something productive. If you guys also have that problem, comment down below. Like, I feel like being lazy is is a big like no no because like I should be doing things and then stuff gets dirty over time even more. And, like, it's just like I always feel like stuff needs to be done. That's I know that's also like a problem of mine that I <laughs> that I need to manage with. But like, uh, nah. <laughs> Sorry about this video, that's like completely everywhere, but I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stop posting a 6am video on Monday. I think I'm just going to post a video on Monday. Yeah, I think I'm just going to post a video every Monday and make that promise to you guys and then if I manage to not have something at in time for whatever reasons whatever thing is going on in my head, I have to make a fucking vlog and I have to say what's up why I can't post shit cause I feel like I owe it to you guys for being there for me and support I'm just gonna stay weird, you know? and just like no one's ever gonna understand me <laughs> and I'm never gonna understand me what the fuck am I doing with my life? Why? <laughs> You're ever gonna be a misunderstood person. I'm just a misunderstood teenager. I'm gonna be a misunderstood adult. That's my life goals, guys. I'm just gonna like, be a spider crawling on my fucking wall. Yeah, you'll get like, imaginary trophy if you get into the top. Ugh, being in this state all the time, I kind of I wanna fly. <laughs> Being in this state of like indecisiveness and being stressed, it makes me like hungry all the time again and binge eating problem. I don't want to get fat. I don't have anything against people who are fat, but I mean I have a lot of clothes that I like and I can't afford to get new ones to suit my body because or else I would have just stayed fat.
even though it's like fat on me doesn't look fat I just my body type is not a fat body type I get heavy bottom but like I'm quite thin right now but like I, would, I could go for losing like 20 pounds honestly <laughs> like, to be completely honest I could go for losing like 20 pounds and that, like, that's another thought that's like in my head. Like, there's so many things and stuff I want to do, and it's just like, can I just eat food? I just want to eat food right now. I'm hungry again. Fuck. I can definitely tell, like, in these states, like, sitting in this indecisive state is triggering my, my everything. Like, it's triggering whatever bipolar problem I have with the tree of all these other uncomfortable feelings and eating disorder shit like I just I need to get on my path and I need to just get going <laughs> I'm just like waiting to hear back from that admonish, admin, admissions office from the school so I can figure out what courses I'm going to take so I can get back to that shit I can relax and just go back to video making this looks weird But I am going back to video making anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm video making right now. I think I'm gonna end this video here, because now I think that's all I really had to say. I was gonna unbox something with you guys. I'm just gonna like throw that in this video right now, because I want to see what they look like really badly. <laughs> so now we're moving to like this like chair section of my bathroom because uh everyone in my house is asleep so i feel like i'm more quiet here so <laughs> i thought i'd share this since you guys always enjoy when i share items that i got because a lot of the time they interest you guys too so i i got this package in the mail a while back, it's just been sitting, I haven't opened it yet. I ordered these shoes before I left to Orlando. It's kind of like a self gift, but also new pair of shoes, so it's nice. <laughs> but these are really fucking cute, also, and they weren't too expensive either. Um, I actually got them on eBay. I'll leave the link to these shoes in the description down below for you guys. And if you purchase them, get them through my link that I give you guys because it helps me out with like a few cents of commission. I noticed you guys, some of you guys have been using my referral link, eBay referral link on my YouTube channel that I offer. That also, it helps me out with a few cents of commission and that they, do, they don't put extra money on it at all whatsoever. It just supports me. And it's really awesome and I've gotten like, I think $40 so far through that, just to be completely transparent. And that's a lot of adding up. You guys must have been using that a lot. <laughs> Thank you. So I got this in the mail and there was like a hole in it. There's a hole in it. It's like they, and they cut it open. So the shoe box is dismantled of. But let's see if these shoes I got these shoes because they match my hair color scheme at this time that I have to fix. And just in, for your information, I'm going to be filming another hair extension video and hair color fixing video because I need to, my hair extensions no longer match my hair. Um, I need to fix my hair colors. I'm not going to be bleaching my roots because I can't afford products for that at this time because I spent money on a new computer and I spent money in Orlando and now I'm like Personally broke and Christmas is coming and I have to get Christmas gifts. <laughs> and going back to like 
the conversation earlier, more stress. And I hate money because money makes so much stress. Oh my god. There's like dirt on these. Actually, I think it's glue, like adhesive from the bottom of the shoe. Oh my god. These are the most kawaii fucking boots I've ever seen in my life. It has like a weird bulge going on here. Is there something in it? Oh, these are actually lace up. So Shit, that means they take effort to put on now. So I got some boots. Some bonnet boots. And you guys will probably see them styled in the video. I'm gonna try them on. For a lace up boot, they're not that hard to get on. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and show you guys what this boot looks like in my pregnancy. Oh my god, hey. Hey. <laughs> I look hilarious. Guys, how fab. Oh my gosh. Do some like squats. Some awkward squats. Yeah. Work out. Yeah. Showing off the boot. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to style with these guys. <laughs> this dust, this dust cover is ripping. Oh my goodness. I think I just put it on now. Oops. These are really cheap dust covers. They're like the most flimsy, flimsiest dust covers ever. Do you get what you pay for, right? Like I bet you these boots, if I were to wear them every day, they would only last like three months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribed if you haven't subscribed already and join my awesome crew of killer ass cookies. Stay awesome as fuck as cookies should be. I will see you guys in my next video. I love the living hell out of you. Do 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 do. The flying high. You know how I feel Stone in the sky You know how I feel Leaves drifting on my You know how I feel mm, It's a new dawn It's a new day it's a new love for me And I'm feeling good So good So good Dragonfly house in the sun You know how I feel Heels stretching on my touch You know how I feel mm. It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life For me And I'm feeling good so good, so good.